Today we start the Sech to Kedushin, the base of Aleph. And I go to the Gemara, I just opened up, it's missing that base. It reminds me, the world says, why do Gemara stop on the base, not on Aleph? Why do we stop on that base? And they say, because they tell us, no matter everything is no matter how much we learn, we haven't even touched the tip of the iceberg. We haven't even started yet the Aleph of learning. Because there's so much to learn. And every time we learn, and Masechta again and again and again, we always glean new things. And Masechta Kedushin is, is very odd that this should be the very last Masechta of Seder Nashim. This whole Seder is all about women, and the last Masechta is, is, is to deny that. We learned Masechta Gitin, which is a divorce. You can only give a divorce after you get married. And yet, Gitin came first and then Kedushin. So the Rabbim writes, because the Pasik says, the Yatsa Vahaisa. If he didn't, if he didn't desire, she married another person. The yotza, she left her house. The hoisa lishacha married another person. So because the pasuk says the yotza first and then the hoisa, she left you divorced and then you got married. So we we put that order in place because we do learn a number of dinim from the yotza the Okay, and there's a, a share that we gave separately to explain uh, the uh, kedushin, how kedushin works. Anybody interested? They can listen to it on on online. <clears throat> A woman could be acquired in three different ways. We use the word Kenyan, the big machetes, or Shainim, or Rajbun and Gitan, and other Rajbun that say differently, and that is when we use the word Kenyan, an acquisition, is this a monetary term, a legal term? I know there's a monetary acquisition over here, and you're getting the certain rights and obligations that come to a marriage, or is it something to do with Easter? That you know that the, when we say Kenyan, the Kenyan is that she's now also to the whole world, which is what other Rishonim want to say, and and she's mutter to you. Is that what the Kenyan over here does, or is like Isha something special only to do with Isha's, and so on? But that woman can be kind of in three different ways. Shalish, by the way, is Lashon Nekeva. Interesting, usually a hey at the end of a word is Nekeva, and without a hey is, is Lashon Zacher. But when it comes to numbers, and I don't know why, it's the other way around. And we will discuss why we use the word Shalish. And when the entire title generally is written in masculine, the she acquires her own rights back in two different ways. Nikni's, um, uh, what do you call it? There's a whole story there to get it up, if I remember correctly, that there was somebody who had to divorce his wife and refused. He was one of these recalcitrant husbands. So the Gerard called him and he said, You know, the Mishnah says that a woman <clears throat> becomes free, there's two ways. Either we see either the husband dies or the husband gives a get. He says, "Look, if you don't give a get, there's only one other way that you should be free. So it's your choice." Nikniz be kesed be Three ways. One is kesed is through money, and we'll see later on that kesed doesn't mean only money, but also shavu kesed equal to money. And the other way is bishtar. So kesed, you give kesed, and you say to her, "Hare at mukuldeshesli." Star, you write on a piece of paper, even though the paper is not worth a pruta because it's not the value of the of the document. It's so it's written the contents. You say, you write "Hare at and Rashi does not say that you have to actually say anything. It's a big machlek is a shenim when you give a star. Do you have to say anything? It's just recorded because we we did learn by get by gitin you do say. And interesting, Rashi does not say Bazer. By Gitin, we said Kadein. We had all these words. Big Machlek is showing we have to say Bazer as well. And 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 Bia. The star of Bia. There's an interesting question in the Rishayim. Machlek is Rabbein Tam and then the other Rishon. The other Rishon asked a question, or some of the, one Rishon asked another Rishon question. Why do we need a special din that Bia, your Koina, and we learn from the Pasik, Kiyika Chishisha Bala? When bia is pleasure, it's shava kesef. But I people pay money, so therefore you're kind of as kesef. What do I need a separate king and bia for? So one reason answered, because the very first time the bia is painful, so therefore there's no pleasure. And the other reason is say, especially when you're older, there's no there's no real pain there at all. So Rabbi Tam says, it's only worth money to men, <clears throat> not to women. But he says, who pays who? <clears throat> Interesting debate amongst the Um <clears throat> Bekesif. Beshamay says bedinner. Beshamay says the value of a dinner. And uvishava dinner, the value of a dinner. And Beisil says bepruta uvishava pruta. The pruta shava is a big machlekes between the same and the taz and sima kupsad and yechesh and mishpat. How does kinyi kesif work? <clears throat> Let's say I'm buying a property worth a thousand dollars and I give you ten dollars kinyin the kinyin. One way of learning is that the, the $10 you gave is really the value of the property, and that's the Kenyan. 
I only gave you 10. And the rest is a loan. So as if I gave you the whole money, I owe it to you, the rest is a loan. So it's the Shabbos. What's the Kenyan Kesef? The Shabbos, the value. The other opinion says, no, the $10 you're giving the deposit has nothing to do with the, with the value of the property. That's the Kenyan. That's the Kenyan. So, and, and they want to say that that's the Machlekes, that's the Machlekes of Taz and the Samer. But maybe that's the Machlekes of Beisham and Beisil. That uh, Beisil says, it's a Kenyan. If it's a Kenyan, a Prut is, a, is enough to do a Kenyan. Beisham says, no, it's value. And value, it's inappropriate that a woman, you're saying that the value of a, of, of a woman to be Mkudu, she's even just a Prut to the minutest amount. It's not, it's not value. But the Rambam writes that a pruta is the equivalent of a half a barley of silver. So there's a whole machleg in the post that what happens if a half a barley of silver, a barley of silver buys you nothing? You know, time change, inflation, whatever it is, buys you nothing. So maybe it's no longer good enough, a pruta. Maybe you have to have a lot more. Or a pruta means something else. Not a half a barley of silver. Maybe you have to work out. Because today, you know, half a barley is not worth much at all. So we always say, is this, is this ring worth a pruta? What exactly is a pruta? <clears throat> Okay, becoming pruta echem shmoyne be isur talki an eighth of an Italian isa, which we'll see more later exactly what that is. Now the coin is asked when she buys it so back the get of misa about taste is the long taste here has a whole question. How do we know that shavik kesef ke kesef? How do we know? And he brings how do you maybe you only have to give kesef? You have to give money. How do you know you can give something worth money? So taste brings psukim. You learn from Ebedigri. You learn from Azikin. The Ritva says it's a partial logic. In other words, the question is really. Well, one way of learning is when the Torah says kesef, what does kesef mean? There's two types of kesef. Kesef can mean silver, and kesef can mean money. And if you learn kesef is silver, then the Torah is, is, is specify exactly what to give. So how do I give something else? How do I give shava kesef? So we need to bring sukkim. But if kesef means money, money does not have an inherent value. Money is that I, it gives me the capacity to buy whatever I want. So shava kesef the same thing. Also, another way of learning it is Shabbat Kesev. Why Shabbat Kesev Kesev? One way of learning it is because I can always sell the Shabbat Kesev and turn it into money. That's why it's in itself can become money. The other way of learning it is that Shabbat Kesev can do the same thing that money can do. You can barter with it, you can swap with it, or you know, something else. And again, depending which way you learn, that you need a Pasuk or not. If Shabbat Kesev can be converted to money, I don't need a Pasuk. It is Kesev. It is Kesev. Just because it's a step away, it's still Kesev. <clears throat> but if you learn that it's not kesef, but it's uh, it can do something a little similar, maybe here possible. Anyway, the Christ asked when we get to get this about how does she become free through get or through the death of a husband? A fascinating truma suggestion in the trumas in, in the early hundreds. I can't remember what it is. He wanted to know when Elian Novi went to Shemayim, what happened to his wife? And a week later, he came back down to visit a bris or something. He came down. So during that week, her husband is no longer alive. He's an angel. And then what happens? He comes back. She comes back with his wife again, and he asks the question of Bishul Malavi. And then he says, "Why am I asking this question? Because of the gay today also. Maybe there are people in the world today that that leave this world like Elu and then they come back. What's the status of his wife?" So the Achreini want to say that it depends how we understand Misa Zabal. The husband is dead, and therefore the wife is free. There's two ways of understanding. Is that an act? The husband died. It's just like a get. You gave her a get. That's it. She's now a free woman. The get doesn't have to act every single second to keep her free. You, you took, you severed the, the knot. That's it. It's over. So when the husband dies, the same thing. That death severs the knot. And if, you, if the husband comes back a week later, you got to get married again. Or do we say no? Death is different than a divorce. A divorce is an act of severing the tie. By death, it's just just no one to have the knot with. So it never was severed from her perspective. The knot is still there, but to who? So if the husband comes back, then maybe. Is right back again where it started. The Rishalmi says that the, um, the question here is that um, the Rishalmi says an interesting thing. The Rishalmi says that if a per- we had this again just recently given, but the Rishalmi, we didn't tell you, I didn't tell you the Rishalmi. So the Rishalmi said, according to Rabbi if you wrote in the get that this get will be a valid get if I'm not back in 12 months. And he died a week later. So Rabbi Yasef says, you got to wait the full 12 months. So because it doesn't happen, the get doesn't happen until the Tanai is fulfilled. The Rishalmi says, you know why you have to wait 12 months? What happens miraculously he comes back to life a day before the 12 months are over? Why, what about that? So therefore, in other words, Yishami clearly says, if he comes back to life, back to marriage again. Anyway, <clears throat> being more, Ayyubama is the Bia, Ayyubama, remember we had Ayyubama, how does, the Vama does not have three options. We, we Rabbanon, if he gives her a star, he gives her money, he told me Rabbanon, Mimer. But Mahatayi is only one way, Bia. 
The Kodesh Atzma Bechalitza Mitzvah Yom. And how does she acquire back her independence, either through Chalitza or his death? So I think Marish Nick is Maish Nahach and Tanish Nick. Why do you use the word Nickness or Maish Nahach and Tanish Mekadish? We use the word Kedushin. In the second pairing, the very first words are Ish Mekadish. The man gives her Kedushin. And over here, we use the word Nickness, an acquisition. You know why? Mishnah Kabayel Mishnah Kesef. Actually, the Rashaim talk about why it says Kesef first. The Torah says Kiyika Chichisha Bala. It says clearly be it. Everything else we learn from Xerah like, Shava, we learn from this. Why uh Yatsuba Haisa? Why don't we just uh, so why doesn't the mission say a woman is nicknamed Bibia? Simple answer is we do the one that's most common, the most common form of acquire of, of getting engaged with the Kesef, and then less with star and then less with beer. But others say no, because the Torah ki yikach, as we're gonna see in a minute, the word yikach, we learn out Xer Shava that it means money. So actually, money is written in the Teda before the others. And um, uh, uh, the other is trying to remember, we looked in the, in the Rashi in Yavomis, where Rashi says that according to one opinion, and he doesn't agree with it, money is actually only Midrabon. Um, because the Gemara says, Teina, the Kaddish Bekaspa. We say that Rabbon take the Kedushan away. Makes sense if they got engaged through money, so Hefke Bez and Hefke takes it away, but Kaddish would be what happens. So they, they, they learn. Tainach cottage because it was good enough if you gave money because only Rabbanus. Rabbanus have the right to take it away. But Bia, which is about Taida, and the Rambam clearly says Medibri Seifrim. So there's a whole argument if the Rambam, when he says Dibri Seifrim, does he mean it's Midr Rabbanon? Or does he mean it's Mahatayda, but it's the rabbis who figure it out, who revealed it to us? So if you learn that it's Midr Rabbanon, they want to say that's why it says Kesar and Mishnah first, because sometimes the Mohaviv. A drush of the Rabbana. We had this a few times already. They, they, the Gemara likes, or the Talmud of the Mishnah likes better a drush from the Rabbana than something which is clearly in the Torah. <clears throat> anyway, I said, Nicholas, <clears throat> because Kesev is mentioned, and Kesev Minolan, and how do you know that Kesev works? The Goma Kicha Kicha with the Ephraim. We learn that Kicha Kicha for the Ephraim. We learn that Kicha Kicha for the Ephraim. See, here it says, Kiyika a man takes a woman. Uksiv hasam nosati kesev asod lekachmen. Avraham Avinu says to the Ephron, "I gave you the money. Take it from me." By the way, this is the raya that Taz brings that money is a kinyan rather than. Uh, sorry, he said um, that money is a value rather than a kinyan. This master is a kinyan because it says here we learn out kesev from Avraham Avinu, and he says, "I gave you the full money, kachmen. I'm giving the value of the field, value." The kich ikir kinyan, and kich is referred to as a kinyan, and that's why, because we mentioned the mission of Kesef, we use the word kinyan. Where do you find that kich, acquiring something through money, is, is considered as, for my acquisition? Hasod Ashikan Avram, the field that Avram purchased. The same field that it says there, that Avram Avinu, it says kich, kach, it says uh, kinyan. Or inami, or by yimri, it says sodas by Kesef, you can, that you should, um, uh, what do you call, buy fields, he was told to buy fields before they go to bubble, and then put write down the contract and so on and so forth, and bury it. That's why it says Kesef. By the way, um, the Rishayim say, and Dav Gimel, that this entire Gemara we learn right now, from the beginning of this Perik, until Gimel and Aleph towards the bottom, was not written by the Gemara. was written by Go'inim. Big Machlech Yitzhu, Rav Shur Go'in, Rav Yodoy Go'in, and so on. And this is actually very interesting, because there's a whole movement right now in Bar Ilan University, which I heard my own ears that came here to, to try to convince us that most of the shafts was not written by Gemara, written by Rabbonus for Rabbi Goini, Rabbonus for Rai, and they therefore have these different layers showing you which is Gemara and which isn't, and, and, he, and, they, which, and their shit is, that is why the Rambam sometimes rules differently than all the other Rishonim, because the Rambam understood how Gemara works, that, the, that a lot of parts of Gemara are not Gemara, which is written by Goini, so he totally ignored it. That means that Rashi, Tyson had no idea how to learn Gemara, because they assumed everything is Gemara, and they made that mistake. That's their shit. I'm saying it now because it's, it's, it's such a course, it's unbelievable. And I asked him the question because whenever the Gemara is not Gemara, the Rishonim hide them right away. So, and, and the proof is that there's no Amaira mentioned the Gemara, which is interesting. The Ritva said, or the Rajma said, that, that because there's no Amaira mentioned at all in this Gemara, is a proof that this Hoshakutari was not learned in the times of Gemara. They, what they're saying is that even though Amaraim mentioned, only with Amaraim I mentioned Rav Amar or, or Amar Abaye, that's Gemara. Everything else, we more say, Ihachi, that's not Gemara. And therefore they, they ignored. We have a Taisim getting Exodus. We taste about Chay, maybe Zabachay going to Shilters. Very few places do we have that, but what they do, they actually highlight it. Anyhow, we'll continue.
Let's see, Gemara. To me, it says that each, apart from the fact that in the Bab Matziah, we're going to learn in Asaycha Pailim, the Gemara clearly says that Rav Ashi and, uh, and, and Ravina wrote the Shas, and Rashi says every Shakla Vatari in Gemara is from Rav Ashi and Ravina. Anyway, so let's get further. Um, to me, we learned that each and Niknis, Venis and Hassam, each kind of, sorry, that's what it says, each and Niknis. Now that we've established, we've used the word Kenyan. So in the next parak, instead of saying Ish Mekadus, as you say Ish Kaina. So you must say no. He caught a ton of lishes deraisa. First, we use Kenyan, which is a lush in the Torah from Avraham Avinu. All of a sudden, ton of lishes Rabbanon. Then later on, we'll use the word Kedushin, which is the language of the Rabbanon. In fact, under the Chuppah, we say today, Harei at Mekudeshesli. You don't say you're Kaina to me, Mekudeshes, because that's the language of the Rabbanon. Umay lishes Rabbanon. Why, what's, why did Rabbanon use the language of Hegdish? Because Hegdish is not only Kedushin, but also the word Hegdish. The Asula Kula Amak Hegdish is forbidden to the whole world like, like Hegdish. Tesis has two explanations, which is, if you listen to the Pupil there, you'll see how important it is. But Tesis either says that the word that Hare at Mikudesh's Li, Mikudesh's means you're Asa to the whole world, Li, because of me. So what am I accomplishing in my Kedushin that I'm asking her on the world? And the result is the only person you mutter to with me. Or Mikudesh's means Mizumenis, that you're singled out, you're exclusive, exclusively related to me and to no one else. So in other words, either it's, you're addressing the rest of the world or you're addressing myself. Okay, you established Kenyan, but why do we talk about from the woman's perspective? Since in the next page, as well, since we want to say how she how she becomes free, sets herself free, and we want to say, talk about her through Gitin or Misa, it's her nomination. You can talk about him and say a, 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 a husband acquires his wife and he, he gives her back. You can still talk about the husband from his perspective. Same thing. Should the ikum miss the bow? Love you, makna. Oh, one of the ways is the husband dies. He has no control over that. I mean, shemayu the makna. He's not the one who's giving it back to her. Or he by saying eaton a koina. If we would have said the ish koina, you know the problem is. How many ever thought I feel about karchos? Even against her will, ish koina. We she has no say in. Tana yisha nikni is the medayt in that way. It has to be her will. Without her will, nothing happens. We had that long round we learned in the third of Chavtes that you know she has to put herself aside and the husband was everything. Interesting, Machlek is the ritual. Uh, sorry, the Rajman, the Bali Itur. Okay, you cannot force a woman to get married. Can you force a man to marry a woman? The Rama clearly says yes, and the Bali Itur says no, and um, and the lot and it goes, it goes like this. The Gemara says in the learning about Basra. That you can force a person to sell something. Why can you force a person? No, if you force the person to sell something, the sale is a valid sale because the person, okay, didn't want to sell, but now that you sold it and you got money, you paid him for it. You didn't pay him for it, you're a gun. You paid him for it. So, therefore, at the end, he, he, he accepts. So, what happens when a person buys? If a person is buying. So, the, the Rambam says, <clears throat> That uh, yes, you can force the husband, which means, sorry, so the Balita says you cannot force the husband. The Gemara only says you can force a person to sell, but you cannot force a person to buy, and therefore you cannot force a husband to get married to his wife. And the Rasmus says not only you could, but the Kolske, if you can force someone to sell, surely you can force someone to buy. I mean, what kind of extreme argument is that? So the kids are based on an Asivis, we can say the Pshad like this. When you have an, a, a, a transaction that's taking place in the buy and the seller, who is the main person who's making this transaction. One of them has to agree. Another one is, is the main person. There's two ways of understanding it. One way is that the seller is the one who has to give it up. He's the main person here, but to who is he giving it up? As long as you agree, you want it, that's it. But the seller is the one, it's his mind, everything else. And we actually have an expression, das is machna. It's the seller doing everything. And the other way of learning is no. The seller is agreeing to part with this item. It's the buyer who's making the whole king. And this is the argument. If you learn that the seller is the main person doing the Kenyan, and yet we say to Louis that you can force him to sell, then surely you can force the person to buy, because all he has to do is, is like rates on him. And that's what the Rambam says, and that's what the, the Rajma says. Kolshken, you can force the husband. But the Baliter holds no, that the main person is the, is the buyer. So I can force the seller because all the seller has to do is agree, tacitly agree, and that's good enough. But to force someone to buy and to make, that you can. Anyway, let's continue, Mara. Um, Tana therefore says, Aisha Niknis the Medai to Insha Lay Medai to Lay. We need her consent. Says Gemara. Now, now we're going to go. It's very interesting. You don't, you don't have this generally in the Gemaras. That the Gemara is going to give is going to be very pedantic in Tiktok. 
Why do we use a shalos, which is feminine? Let it say shlosha, which is masculine. And Tasha says, what's, what's the question here? Tasha says, if the fourth Tasha says, because Hebrew is gender, is, you know, is, is gender is divided, and you had to choose one, masculine or feminine. So the Torah is written in one of them. But whichever way we were written, we would ask him, why not the other way? So he wrote it in masculine because there's a mitzvah for men to learn Torah more than for women, that to learn just for the sake of learning. So therefore it's written in masculine. <clears throat> and um, I think Mara also, so why the Mishnah uses a feminine form? Because we want to use the Rochim, and Derech is lost in the Kebu. Derech is in the Kebu. How do we know Derech is in the Kebu? It says, but teach them the way that Yel Chuba. They'll go in her. So see, Derech is feminine. Says the Gemara, let me ask a question. I'll find words, Drachim, which is actually masculine. But how the time we learn in a mission, Beshiva Drachim, by Gazov, there are seven different ways that you check out a Zov and male to see whether it's, it, it came you know, on its own in a mission or there was an external cause. And it says over there, Drachim, and says Shiva, which is masculine. You just said Drachim is feminine, and, and, and you should say Sheva, Nisna Sheva. Says the Gemara, Mishnah, the Kaboy, the Mr. Derech. Derech. Is is masculine. But ask him that because of the you find that derech is masculine. The chesiv it says, but derech echad yechu elachu, which is rochi nushlof and echa. In the brachas there it says, in one way they'll come towards you, and in seven ways they'll they'll flee from you. And there it's all written in masculine. So you know, I don't understand what's going on here. A minute ago you told me that derech is feminine. Now you tell me that it's masculine. Ihochi kashu kroy hadadi. The psukim are difficult. Because you know, my sister does. The mission is not difficult. So I think about a cry the cash. Don't ask me a question. Because it depends what the word derech itself could be quite ambiguous. It depends in the context of the Pasik. Here is talking about the Toyda, the Toyda, Ikir Lush and the Kaiba. How do you know Toyda? Toyda itself is feminine. The Khsiv, Toyda Hashem, Toyda Sashem Timima. The Toyda of Hashem is Timima. Meshiva's nefesh. It restores our nefesh. So this is told by the Torah, which is feminine. Cost of law, Belosh and the Kaiba. Therefore, there is written Belosh and the Kaiba. Hasam the Bilchamakai. There is talking about the going to war. And because there is talking about Daitam Lahem Sadelah about teaching the ways of the Torah. So there's a little feminine. But here we go to war. Who goes to war? Males go to war. They ain't actually your last Muhammad women go to war. Very odd, and I'm not sure why. We bring a raya that Torah is feminine from Torah Hashem Tzimim from passing it till from Davin. We say, well, in fact, we just read in the Torah, the Zeis Hat Torah Hashem Tzimim from ourselves. The Zeis Hat Torah in Chumash, which is feminine. Why don't we use that as a raya? Not sure. Um, says the Gemara further. Maslis is not the question. Mish also a question. Hoch and the Gabi Ishik are here. We're talking about a woman. Is Ketan Lama Lashon Keva? Therefore, it says Drachim Lashon Keva, and he uses the word. Um, uh, uh, we're called uh, uh, Shalosh. Hasam the Gabi Ishkoi. There, we're talking about a person, a zov, but a man. The dark is a little body. It's a man who has to check for external factors. They ain't dark is a little body. The Ishan Nami by Mitzvah. What makes the difference? What the cause is? If she's a zov, she's a zov. Then, therefore, Tan Lashon Zoch. Says the Gemara, so what do you tell me? My time, you tell me, why you say uh, Shalosh, which is, um, what do you call it? Feminine? Mishum Drachim, you use the word Drachim. Nista Dvarim, use the word Dvarim, and therefore you can be masculine. The Nista Shlosha. The Gemara doesn't let go. They want it to be written in masculine form. Says the Gemara, Mishum Dvarim, the Mishum Dvarim, because one of the things is Bia, or Bia Ikra Derech, and we find the expression by Bia, the word Derech, and because three ways, we'll use the word Derech. Where do you find it? It says there, um, uh, the, the, the way of a man is with a young girl. Cain derech isha manafes. The same thing as a woman who is who, who is lusting. So again, when it talks about beer, we use the word derech. So therefore, we said rochim. So my hotein of beer. Okay, beer. The kasev v'shtam I can remember. There we could have used the word for him. So the gemara should be it. But once you buy beer, use derech. Use for everything. So you have a tony tart of the chada. Usually you have one. You have the minority follows gets dragged along with the majority. But when you find that the majority gets dragged along with the minority. Even if you, you give Kesef or you give Shtar, that's only the first step of a marriage. The second step of the marriage is Bia. So therefore, it, they're all connected. But you buy them, or I can tell you, this is Rab Shimon the Tanya. Rab Shimon says, Why does it say a man takes a woman? Why does it say when a woman is, is you know, is, is in a relationship with a man? It's a man who, who, who goes after the woman. It's not common for a woman to go search for a man. Marshall, I'll give you an example. 
a person lost an object, me ami, who who searches for who? Alave the Max Rabbi does it, only the object loses. In other words, other magician lost the uh, a tzela aside, and therefore, now if you remember the more when we had a machlek is whether they're both created equally and then the Abisha just divided them, or she was part of other magician. And this has a lot to do with philosophy and theology, but the, the, the status of a woman. So if you learn that there were two equals, and why um, he, he lost an Aveda, what do you mean? Uh, they're both equals. Why is he looking for her more than he'll look for him? So Aveda here means the child. The child is to perpetuate, um, because it comes to the tribes, you follow the man. So therefore, it's as if the Aveda is for the man. Typical Pshat, that's what they want to say, because the woman decides whether she, she's Jewish or not. So why is that called Aveda of the man more than the woman? Anyway, what the name we learned? Design the Rokhbek is up. Several ways you check this up. Listen to the body, say their body. Awesome, how come I'll teach you the darker the Michli say la suya leziva? That is it's quite common. There's a cause. We can find a cause why by male there was an omission, it wasn't a natural event, it was something external, extraneous of a darka, the mishtai you say la suya leziva, also drinking. That's why it says derech to tell you that are it's quite common that there are other variables here. But now we learn Esrig that an esric tree in, is, is similar to any other tree regarding you, know, you have the laws of three, the three years of Arla, then the fourth year is Netaravide, three years of Arla, you cannot consume the fruits. It's also another fourth year, you got to take it to Shalim or, or exchange it for money and take the money up to the Shalim. And, and, and these things over here, we go after when they begin to grow, when they blossom. That's the year that it grew in. And when it comes to an estrogen as well, we look at just like a tree. We look at the year that it blossomed. That's the year that it, you know, that's that's the year that we count it. But um, but uh, what do you call? It? But in one way, it's like vegetables. That what we go after when you actually collected it. When it comes to mice, when it comes to estrogen, when it comes to mice, it's not early in the vibe. We don't follow the laws of trees, which is the year that blossoms to decide. But the first two years, if one kind of mice, the third year, you know, mice are shiny or mice are only. When it comes to a, an Esser, we say you look at the year that you actually collected it. There's a reason for it. We'll soon see. So why does it say the say Drachim say Dvarim? Should the Be'inan Master say, if he wants to tell you the end, which is the main finish by Esser tree that is different than all the trees, that what is similar to a vegetable you look at when you collect it. We'll see in a second why. Say, but now Minister Dover, so say the Dover. Hashem Kamash, he wants to tell you that Derech, Derech means it's common. What's common? Why tack is an esric tree different than any other tree? It's how it grows. The dark the esric yedek. The way an esric tree grows is very similar to vegetables. My yedek dark the godla kol my. That yedek vegetables are different. The trees need rain. Um, yedek can grow for rain, for irrigation, any kind of water. Ubeshas likvitasia so that you give mice the way the year that you collected it. Ath esik, esik is different than all the trees. Darkly godl al kol mine. It can go in any water. It can just irrigate water, bring you know water from a hose, and therefore it's different. That's why we use the word derech because it, because of its derech because it grows. It's common to grow like an esik, like a normal vegetable. Therefore, its din is different than anything else. asurin. And when you collect it, that's the, the the way we we decide which year it's considered. Take about now we learn koi. That's the animal that's sort of between a a behem and a chayyeh. Yesh boy drachim are ways of shavu lechayyeh. Yesh boy drachim shavu behem. A certain dinim is similar to a chayyeh. It says drachim again. The behem of yesh boy drachim shavu lechayyeh behem. A certain dinim which is similar to both. Because we're not sure what it is. We're machmen every stage. Yesh boy drachim shavu shavu lechayyeh behem. In certain ways, it's different than all of them. Question whether you need kisse or dam, whether it's a kisse or dam, we treat like a chaya. What about the fats? We treat like a behemoth, because fats of a chaya is permitted. It's like a behemoth, that is, and so on and so forth. And other, it's similar to both, you need shchita. And it's different to both that you're not allowed to mate it with any other animal. And also, one of the ways that the get of a woman is similar to the freedom, the get of an evid. In these two places, why is it one? The rules as follows. Elegant one changes mind. Whenever it says there's an argument, or not an argument, that sometimes it's like this, and sometimes like this, like by asterisk, sometimes like this, sometimes like this, or by koi, sometimes it's like a behemoth, sometimes it isn't, then it says we're drachim. It says drachim, because certain ways it's like this, and certain drachim it's like that. <clears throat> And uh, and even by Ebed is similar to a thing, but Ebed doesn't have a chuppah, for example. So that's, it's not exactly the same. 
the whole hechet, the lacquer plucked it, but there's no difference. It's just all the same. Then Tony says, Dvahi. They can't prove to you. Tony says, but I'm a lesser name, but Essex, Shavalil, and there he changes the whole double. When it's the same, use the double. Shma mino. Good raya. Okay, this finishes the whole Gemara of Rabbanus for Raya of the Gainim. And now we'll go back to some other normal.